Hey everybody, today we're going to look at graphing exponential functions. We're going to continue with that. And what we're going to focus on is how we can shift these graphs up or down. So a vertical shift, shift those graphs up or down. So already, right here, we have the graph of y equals 2 raised to the x power, or f of x equals 2 raised to the x power. Now, if we take that graph, and we add a number or subtract a number, we can actually move that graph up or down. Let's, let's actually look at how that would happen. So, so far, we have points for y equals 2 to the x. Um, so we have our x values on the left side, and we have our 2 to the x values on the right side, and we already plotted that graph right here. But we're going to plot another one. Uh, so let me switch my pen, and give me one second, all right, take it off of that, just a regular pen, and write, okay, so now we're going to add one, we're going to add one to all of these values so that we can get the graph of f of x equals 2 to the x plus 1. So if we plug x as negative 2 in, to that equation, we should get 1 and a quarter. If we plug negative 1 into that equation, we should get 1 and a half. If we plug 0 into that equation, we should get 2. We should get 2, and so on and so forth. Get all the values into our chart. We should get 3, 5, and 9. So you may notice that all of the values in this column, the column that we just did, is 1 more than each of the va values in this column. Because all we really did was add 1 to that 2 to the x equation, it's now, instead of just 2 to the x, it's now 2 to the x plus 1. So these values on the right are just 1 more than the values on the left. Okay, great. So now that we have all of our x values and all of our new f of x values, we can start to plug in, or sorry, plot the points on our graph. So now we're going to be plotting the graph for y equals, or f of x, equals 2 to the x plus 1. Okay, so our first point is x is negative 2, so negative 2, and f of x is 1 and 1 fourth, so around here. Then we have negative 1, and y, or f of x, is 1 and a half. So around here, and 0 with 2, which is about here, 1 with 3, so around here, not exact, but about there, all right, 2 with 5, 2 goes with 5, so around here, notice the points look like they're coming in a little closer, but that's just because the graph is a little steeper. And then 3 with 9, so that is around right here. Now, it's really hard to get a smooth curve, and that's what we want. We need a smooth curve, but it's really hard to get a smooth curve with the mouse. So I'm going to just draw a series of lines, but remember, when you are drawing this, you have your hand, your free hand, you can get the curve as smooth as possible. So for now, I'll just draw a series of straight lines. Just bear with me. Just remember, this should be a smooth curve. Oh, let's change the color to red. Um, okay. So let's get this done. Join our points with as smooth a curve as we can get. But it's not too bad. One from here to here from here to here and finally one 
from here to here. Okay, so our red graph is the graph of y equals 2 to the x plus 1, while our black graph, the graph we already had on the paper, was the graph of y equals 2 to the x. So here's what I want you to notice. Everywhere on the red graph, everywhere on the red graph should be 1 higher than everywhere on the black graph. So if you know what your original graph should look like, and since we did the graph of 2 to the x yesterday and the day before, since you know what that graph should look like, if you have to draw another graph, 2 to the x plus 1, then your sketch will be one higher. Everything will be one higher than it is in the graph of 2 to the x. So think about that for a second, and we're going to erase these graphs, and we're going to try again. And this time, we're going to draw the graph of 4 to the x minus 1. As you may have noticed, the graph of 4 to the x and 4 to the x minus 1 jumps up way quicker than the graph of uh, um, 2 to the x did. So for our x values, yes, I chose negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, but then when I tried 3 as an x value, my f of x value turned out to be way too big. So instead of doing 3, as my final x value, I went back down and I did 1.5 instead. Okay, so now that we have that clear, you should have been working on your graph of 4 to the x minus 1, and it should look a little like this, like this graph, the purple graph right here. Notice the black graph is 4 to the x, and we took that graph and we moved everything down one place because of that minus 1, we moved everything down one place. So then we got the graph right here of f of x equals 4 to the x minus 1. So the whole point of this lesson is that if you have a number added or subtracted, if you have a number added or subtracted from your original function, that means that that number is telling you to move your graph, move your entire graph up or down. In this case, it's telling you to move it down one. And in the case before, it's telling you to move the graph up one.